to this life, we begin with a core intention. We intend to experience this thing that we intend to experience. And that is what creates the chain of events leading to our physical life. Without this intention, this pre-birth intention, we would not even come into life. Life could not exist. This is the reason that we choose the parents that we do. It's the reason we choose the astrological alignment that we do. And even though it might be true that you came into life to experience a great many things, all of those things you intended to experience were branches coming off of this one root core experience that you wanted to experience. What I want to help you to do today is to find out what that core experience you intended to experience in this life is. And you're going to experience what that core desire, that core intention is by finding the core imprint or the core contrast that you chose to come into. Let's say that the experience that we intend for this life is to experience unconditional love. Like all things, you can't experience something without also experiencing its opposite. You can't understand white unless you experience black. So what you do if you came to experience unconditional love is to thrust yourself into an environment where love is conditional, where you're rejected even. We experience this opposite vibration from unconditional love as a feeling, a feeling signature to be exact. This feeling signature is like a specific flavor in the form of emotion and sensation. Our soul comprehends perception in terms of these feeling signatures, not mental concepts. The time-space reality we are currently experiencing is one of contrast. It is a dimension of duality. We come into this contrasting experience of life on Earth in order to experience the black so then we can know and experience white. So we choose into very specific conditions in order to experience the opposite of our ultimate desire for this life, knowing that the experience of its opposite will give rise to awareness and experience of it. When we experience its opposite, we feel it, even if we do not understand it at first. The feeling signature of this opposite of what you intended to experience in this life. This becomes your core negative imprint. And your core negative imprint is the root around what your whole life grows from. It's what you came into this life to transform in this incarnation. In other words, it's your main purpose for life to use the contrast of that particular negative feeling signature to find and become its opposite. Once you have adopted this core negative imprint for the remainder of your life until that vibration is integrated, it will continue to reflect itself out again and again and again, primarily in your relationships. Because relationships provide the meat of the contrast of our experience here on Earth. So you will continue to think that you are getting into different relationships with different people and having different problems. But that's because you're not recognizing the feeling signature that is in fact the exact same in each one of these relationships. It's the one that keeps repeating. This core feeling signature keeps repeating itself as if crying for integration over and over like a skipping CD. If we want our relationships to be different, we must recognize this core imprint. We must become aware of its role in our soul progression. We must use it to find out what we are doing here. If you already think you know what your core imprint is, and thus your core purpose for this life, suspend judgment. I tend to be someone who prides myself on being super self-aware. But when I went into the feeling vibration of my core imprint, I was surprised at what I found. I had assumed it would be freedom. After all, I've experienced so much powerlessness, so much captivity in my life. But what I found is that my very core imprint was actually the vibration of forsaken. What I found is that my life purpose here, by default, 
being the opposite of that thing, is reclamation. Now it makes sense, looking over the course of my life, even my career. My whole life has been dedicated in the movement towards reclamation. I now teach people how to reclaim themselves, how to reclaim their relationship with their higher self, how to reclaim their relationship with Source. Everything makes sense now that I know my purpose. So suspend judgment for a while and go through this process. You might just be surprised what you find. Our purpose for this life will almost always feel like the very hardest thing for us to align with. Because for us to experience that thing, we have to first immerse ourselves entirely in its opposite. And it's hard for someone who, say, has experienced being forsaken all their lives to suddenly experience reclamation. Reclamation seems like an impossible dream to someone who's felt forsaken all their life. That's why your purpose feels so hard and so out of reach. Nonetheless, our original intention for this life is a desire we cannot deny, and so despite that perceived difficulty, we will be moving forever in the direction of this experience that we intend to have, no matter what gets in our way, until we either reset back to source perspective by dying, or manifest it in this life. To find this core imprint, we begin, like any other meditation, by observing our breath by calming the mind, focusing it, so that our thoughts are not taking us out of the present moment. Once we feel our mind quieting, then we survey all of our previous significant relationships, the ones where you really felt like there was love there. And I want you to think about these relationships going south and ending. I want you to think about what it felt like when they went badly. Dive into the experience of these relationships beginning to sour, failing, and ending. And I want you to ask yourself this question. What did I feel after they ended? Notice that no matter the circumstances or who you were with, the feeling is exactly the same. Just feel this feeling. Right now you may not have a word to describe this feeling, but I want you to experience this all too familiar feeling that has been carrying itself, reflecting all throughout your life. Feel its sensations within your body, observe it, and fully experience it. I will warn you in advance that this particular feeling might be the most excruciating feeling that you have ever tried to be present with. When I first did this, it felt a bit like my skin was being burnt off of my bones. So I don't want you to think that this is going to be an enjoyable experience but it is going to be the key to you finding your purpose. When you feel as if you spent enough time with this emotion, or more specifically, when you feel as if you have surrendered to it completely, I want you to ask yourself, when was the first time that I felt this feeling? You may or may not get images. You may get memories, or you may get no kind of visual stimulus of any kind as a result of that particular question. That's okay. I want you to realize that whatever comes up is what's meant to come up for you. You may only have an intensification of that particular feeling, for example, without any context. Remain with that feeling. Observe those images if you get any, or if you're recalling any memories, a bit like you'd be watching a movie. Then I want you to ask yourself, how do I feel? Be patient with this process. Allow your soul to offer it up to you, a bit like a bubble rising up from the depths of the water. Don't go looking for it. Now when you ask yourself, how do I feel? I want you to make sure that it's worded like this. I feel blank, not I feel like blank. To say I feel like means that you're conceptualizing of a feeling instead of truly feeling it. For example, I feel destitute is different than I feel like I have no money. One's a conceptualization, the other is a true feeling. We are looking for the true feeling. For some of you, you will be able to identify that feeling immediately. For others, it may be helpful to get a huge list of emotions. And when you feel that emotion intensely within you, to look over that list and see if you can pinpoint the word that best describes that particular feeling. If you feel ready, you can apply my emotional body process to this feeling at this point with the intention of welcoming and integrating this particular feeling signature. To remind yourself of that process, watch my video titled Healing the Emotional Body on YouTube. 
Now, with the knowledge of this negative core imprint, I want you to look back consciously at your life. See how it is the most familiar frequency you have experienced in this life. And use that to become aware of its opposite. Use that to become aware of what it is that you might be doing here on Earth. Keep in mind that what people consider to be the opposite of something isn't necessarily the opposite of something. For example, though traditionally the opposite of panic is seen as calm, the opposite of your feeling of panic might actually be trust. Another good way of doing this is to type in the word that you chose for what that negative core imprint is and look at what the antonym of that particular word is. Another thing to do once you figure out one of those antonym words is to put that particular antonym into a thesaurus and you'll see other words that represent that same kind of feeling and you will pinpoint the one which feels like the opposite vibration from your core imprint. This opposite vibration is in fact your life's purpose. However, you are what am I supposed to be doing with this life definition of purpose? Will almost always fit into this model of your core negative imprint and thus core negative intention for this life. The best example of this can be seen in the movie Stranger Than Fiction. The character played by Maggie Gyllenhaal. She plays a bakery shop owner. Now the main character of this movie played by Will Ferrell, is surprised to find out that this bakery shop owner in fact went to Harvard Law School. She went to law school because she wanted to make a difference in this world. She wanted to make the world a better place. And when she was attending studying sessions for Harvard Law School, she decided to start making things to bring to these study sessions. She started baking. And after a few months, she found out that she was doing a lot more baking than she was doing school. So much so that she ended up failing out. And so she dropped out of Harvard. And she decided that if she was going to make the world a better place, she would do it with cookies. The point being that if you examined her core imprint and the vibration she intended to experience in this life, something like kinship, owning a bakery shop facilitated this intention and thus fulfilled her purpose for this life much more so than a Harvard law degree did. The feeling signature of this core negative imprint is the ultimate thing we have come into this particular life to overcome because it is the core vibration preventing us from experiencing unconditional love. This exercise is an exercise in awareness more so than anything else. Becoming aware of your core negative imprint and thus your core intention for this life is the first step to integrating this particular feeling so that it's not reflecting into your life anymore and it's the first step towards finding out your true purpose for being on this earth. So get ready for life to make a whole lot more sense and get ready for changes. Have a good week.